Chemrec English, was a Stockholm, Sweden corporation that developed technology for entrained flow gasification of black liquor and certain types brown liquor for production of biofuels from the resulting syngas. Chemrec's technology for second-generation biofuels has in the European Community's sixth framework program project Renew been shown to yield lower production cost than any other studied technology. EUCAR, CANCA, JRC's well-to-wheels analysis of future automotive fuels and powertrains in the European context shows that methanol and DME produced via black liquor gasification has extremely high well-to-wheels efficiency and very high greenhouse gas reduction. The world's first biodme plant was inaugurated in Patia on September 9, 2010. On January 26, 2011, the European Union's Directorate General for Competition approved the Swedish Energy Agency's award of 500 million Swedish kroner approximately 56 million euros as at January 2011 toward the construction of a 3 billion Swedish kroner approximately 335 million euros industrial scale experimental development biofuels plant at the Domsjo Fabriker biorefinery complex in Ornskoldsvik, Sweden, using Chemrex black liquor gasification technology. This represents the largest public award ever to an EU second generation biofuels project. The Patia plant was closed down permanently due to financial problems in 2016. Chemrec was for three consecutive years ranked as one of the top 100 global green tech companies by the Cleantech Group and Always On. See awards. Topic: History. Chemrex technology originated in the mid-80s with an invention by Jan Erik Kignell who was awarded the Royal Swedish Academy of Engineering Sciences gold medal for this feat in 1993. Kignell sold his black liquor gasification patent to the Swedish ball bearing company SKF that worked on gasification in the late 1980s, but concluded that the technology related to black liquor was too far removed from the company's core business, upon which the inventors Nils Bernhard and Lars Stigson acquired the patents in 1989 and founded Chemrec an abbreviation of chemical recovery to exploit the technology. In 1990 Kaverner bought Chemrec and remained the sole owner until 2000. When Kaverner experienced financial difficulties and divested several non-core businesses in 2000 Babcock Borsig acquired a majority position in Chemrec. Babcock Borsig filed for bankruptcy in 2002 and Nikom Synergetics, at the time a minority owner, acquired Chemrec from the bankruptcy estate. In 2003-2006 Nikom Synergetics was the sole owner. During the period from 1990 Chemrec developed a series of pilot plants for first-generation atmospheric air-blown gasifiers. In 1996 the first full-scale commercial gasifier with this technology was delivered to Weyerhaeuser's New Bern plant in a collaboration between Chemrec and the U.S. Doe Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy Division. Concurrently Chemrec initiated development of second-generation pressurized oxygen-blown technology based on operating experience and new patents. A pilot plant using this technology is today in continuous use adjacent to Smurfit Kappus plant in Patia, Sweden. Within the Biodme project, supported by the European Commission's 7th Framework Program FP7 and the Swedish Energy Agency, Chemrec built the world's first pilot plant for synthesis of biodme adjacent to the gasification pilot plant in Patia, with production start early in 2010. In 2009 the Swedish Energy Agency awarded Chemrec a grant of 500 million Swedish kroner towards the construction of a 3 billion Swedish kroner industrial-scale experimental development biofuels plant at the Domsjo Fabric biorefinery complex in Ornskoldsvik, Sweden. The grant was approved by EU's Directorate General for Competition on January 26, 2011, following assessment of the project under the EU Framework for State Aid for Research and Development and Innovation. Technology Black liquor properties Black liquor is a biomass feedstock with unique properties. First of all, it is available at existing industrial sites in large quantities, secondly it is a liquid. 
This makes it possible to easily feed it by pumping into the pressurized gasifier. With biomass in solid or pulverized form this becomes significantly more difficult. The liquid state also makes the black liquor easy to atomize into a fine mist that reacts very quickly in the gasifier. Thirdly, the gasification of black liquor char is more rapid than for any other feedstock as the inherently high sodium and potassium content of black liquor acts as a catalyst. These properties makes it possible to apply the high temperature, entrained flow gasification principle to black liquor. This type of gasification process provides many advantages over alternative gasification technologies. It is a very rapid, single-stage gasification process with low reactor volume. It minimizes the need for raw syngas cleanup as the Chemrec process directly provides a raw syngas of excellent quality with complete carbon conversion. No tar formation. Low methane content for all practical purposes sodium-based sulfite liquor, the sulfite process equivalent of black liquor, is equally or even better suited for gasification. Topic. Investment cost and energy efficiency Black liquor gasification fulfills two investment-intensive duties with a single process, it provides the pulp mill with needed black liquor recovery capacity at the same time as it produces syngas for biofuels production. In this way the total investment demand decreases, the Chemrec gasification process had a substantially higher thermal efficiency than the process it replaces, the Tomlinson recovery boiler, the location within a pulp mill complex provided benefits. First, environmental permitting was generally easier than for a greenfield industrial activity. Secondly, the pulp mill infrastructure for raw material supply, utilities and energy reuse further reduced investment and provided the opportunity for net energy cost reduction. Topic. Products A300 booster the 300 tons per day atmospheric air blown unit increases pulp production through improved black liquor recovery capacity and flexibility in chemical recovery. The A300 booster is installed in parallel with the mill's existing recovery boiler. A significant benefit of this system is that it can be installed while the recovery boiler continues to operate, thus avoiding down time and lost production. OX300 booster the OX300 atmospheric oxygen blown booster not only increases the black liquor recovery capacity but also produces a fuel gas suitable as lime kiln fuel. In this way lime kiln fuel costs and the mill carbon footprint can be significantly reduced. P500 expansion unit. The 500 tons per day pressurized oxygen blown unit offers mills additional capacity and increased yield, while producing significant volumes of sustainable, low carbon biofuels. P2000 replacement unit. The 2000 tons per day pressurized oxygen blown unit replaces recovery boilers entirely, granting improved pulp yield, while producing significant volumes of sustainable, low carbon biofuels. P2000 combined cycle unit. The 2,000 tons per day pressurized unit oxygen blown replaces recovery boilers entirely, granting improved pulp yield, while doubling green power production. Topic. Awards Top 100 Global Cleantech Firm, The Guardian and Cleantech Group, September 2009, October 2010 and October 2011, Top 100 Global Cleantech Firm, Always On Going Green, September 2009, October 2010 and September 2011. Britain's Hot Talent, BVCA, December 2009 and 2010-2011. Top 50 Hottest Companies in Biofuels, Biofuels Digest, December 2009. Winner of Boston Cleantech Award, European American Chambers of Commerce, November 2009. Top 24 European Cleantech Firm, European Tech Tour Cleantech Summit, June 2009 Top 50 Nordic Cleantech Firm, Cleantech Scandinavia, April 2009 Topic. See also Black liquor Gasification 
Second generation biofuels Craft process Sulfite process <laughs>